Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Dave Shaves. Today, we got something a little special for you. We are not only doing your regular shave, we are also doing a beard trim. I'm using my Hattaker trimmer here to give myself a nice little trim and shape up. And I figured since I had to do it, I might as well do it on camera. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and go over what everything we're using today, and we'll get started. I'm gonna to try to keep this as short as possible. I may even stop the video after the trim, before the shave, and then edit it together. We'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead and go over everything we got going on. So we are using a Hattaker trimmer. It's a neat little trimmer. It's got heads that come off like so. This is for precision. And then you got one that works with the actual comb guide to actually take off the bulk of the hair. So that's that, uh, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> Not really, but I like it. After that, we're gonna be using a Mula R41 open comb razor. We're gonna be loading that up with Astra Stainless Blue Blade. And the reason I'm using the Astra Blue is because I said in a couple videos a while back when I'm using a more aggressive razor, I like the blue a little bit better. That's just my preference. With a more of a milder razor, like my McCore 40, uh, 34C, I like the Astra Green in that. But with a more aggressive, I like the Astra Blues. Just my preference. Now, we're going to be using Derby Shave Stick. And we're gonna be lathering that up with Perfecto Shave Brush which we're gonna go ahead and get soaking here in just a minute. And we're gonna be finishing up with Aqua Velva Musk. I bought this at Walmart the other day, very cheap, and I'm gonna be featuring it in a uh, budget shave video coming up here soon. I got a few more aftershaves I need to do in that as well. So there's still a bunch of those budget shave videos coming up, and this is going to be featured in one of those. But I'm going to be using it here today first because I never have and thought it would be fun. So let's go ahead and get the brush soaking. Let some hot water run. And then while that's soaking, we'll go ahead and start the trim. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you're enjoying all the videos that are coming out. I'm certainly enjoying making all of them as I do all the time. So, there's going to be more coming. All right. And I want to thank all of you viewers who watched my last video all the way through. I appreciate it, it was a heavy topic. For those that didn't tune in, I did talk about mental health and I talked about my battle with cancer when I was younger. So I appreciate you all staying tuned for that. I also got some comments on that and some messages and I just really wanna thank you all for your support. I'm doing well, I'm here, I'm alive and that's really all we can say. So, um, Let's get started because nothing helps me battle my demons like a good shave. So we're gonna start by trimming up the stash just a little bit and we'll go from there. Right. Get the top. I'm being very quiet because the last thing I want to do is butcher the mustache or the beard. All right. Good enough. 
see how things are going here. Just a little bit off right there. Good enough on the shape. I don't want to try to even that up too much. There's a little bit here, but I don't really want to mess with that too much because if I do, I'll end up taking a huge gap out of it. So we're just gonna go with that shape there. I think it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the top here for one like this that fits with a little comb. For this, I use the seven to nine millimeter comb. And then with this, there's a little dial on the side that you can go bigger or smaller. I usually start at the biggest here, so that's probably gonna put it at about nine millimeters. And then I'm gonna trim with that, and if I need to go a little thinner than that, I will, but I think that'll be good, so we'll see how it goes. There is a lot of hair and it's going to be a lot to clean up. going pretty good. Actually, I think this is going to be a good length. Although when I trim, I really start to notice the gray. I color my hair a lot for those that don't know. And I, try, I color my beard on occasion as well. And I think we're getting to a point where we may need to do that. Hope you guys are getting a good vantage point of this. I'm trying to stay within the camera. So hopefully it's usable footage. I think it'll be all right. Everybody is hanging in there. I'm curious what you all do for your, uh, for those of you that have beards, what kind of beard maintenance do you use? Do you use a trimmer? Do you use scissors? My dad had a mustache most of my life. 
And when I was really little, he had a beard, a full beard. And I think he used to use just scissors. I know that's what he definitely used to use for uh, his mustache in his later years. I think that's what he used to use for his beard too, but I'm not certain. I never really saw him. trim it very often. And plus, I was really young when he got rid of the beard. Like, really young. He's probably a toddler. The majority of my life, he only had a mustache. But I like the beard. I've never been a mustache fan. For most of my teens, I had a goatee. I actually started out with a mustache when I was younger. I started growing a mustache when I was 14, about 14. And then I started growing a goatee when I was 16 at the uh, behest of my, uh, my best friend at the time, Avi Silverman. Uh, Avi, I know you're watching, so there's your shout out. Thank you for having me start the, you're the one that got me into the beard. You started me on the goatee and from there, the beard just sort of followed suit. Every once in a while, I do still go back down to, to a goatee, either when I mess up the beard or when I just sort of feel like it. Uh, it doesn't happen very regularly, though. So there you have it on the trim. I think that's pretty much good. I'm going to switch back to the precision trimmer and take a little bit more off underneath here and then maybe a little bit around the stash area. So we'll do that. And then we'll, uh, then I think I am going to turn off the camera for a bit just to clean up. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm using the camera as a mirror because believe it or not, it's a little bit easier to see. I think that's a good shape, huh? There we go. All right. Not so bad, huh? There we go. Nice little trim. I think I'm looking good. Keep me going for a while. Right, brush everything off. All right, so you know what? We're already at 13 minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this going. So I'm not gonna bother changing it up, uh, stopping rather, and then restarting. I'm just gonna keep talking to you, get the hair out of here. Do that quick. And I'll do the bulk of the cleanup later. Hope you guys enjoyed that first part of the video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I hope I talked enough. I don't know. Or maybe you just got enough out of the actual trim. We'll see. If this isn't my most popular video, then it's not, and so be it. Alright, got the water, got the face all, 
moistened up and rinsed off. Go ahead and get a blade loaded since I didn't do that. And I hope this video doesn't go too long. I will try to keep it as short as possible. I'm gonna try to keep it under 30 minutes. We'll see, we're already at the 15 minute mark. But we'll see what we shall see. All right. Got the Astro Blue right there. Put the face plate on. Grab the handle, which just dropped on the ground. All right, got that loaded. Moisten up the shade soap. And as I was saying earlier, I really appreciate you guys that watched the last video. The emotions I mentioned in that video are things I still fight with right now. All right. Hopefully that'll work for right now, for the first at least. And let's go ahead and start lathering up. Oh yeah, nice, lather right off the bat. I love these shave sticks, they really do go great. All right, that was a quick lather. I love shave sticks for that reason. Going for the first pass, start on the bottom this time because it's just where I started. Oh, gotta slow down. I'm making that mistake again, the, the pressing hard. I can feel myself doing it. Slow down and lighten the touch. First pass on the bottom went well. And also, what are you guys thinking about the the non-shave series of things I've been putting out last couple days you like those you don't like them you want to stick to just shaving what do you think what type of content do you want to see on my channel what type of content do you like the best do you like a mixture i like doing a mixture of things because it keeps things fresh But I really want to get you guys' opinion as well. So let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys like best about my channel. I know some of the most popular seems to be the uh, shaving width, as we've discussed. The budget shave videos seem to be doing pretty well as well. And apparently, 
I got a couple comments saying they really like the the razor video I did, the Shaving 101 razors. That seemed to be a little bit more popular than even the Technique one. So, it's nice. But let me know, put comments below, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna keep trying to do a mixture of things. So I got other people whispering in my ear telling me what to do to keep things moving, to keep things fresh, which is why I have people helping me. It's why I ask. It's why I ask you guys. It's why I ask my friends. But I think I do a pretty good job keeping things fresh, for the most part. Gotta be careful with these open combs around the beard because if you're not careful to take a chunk out, I notice that slightly already. Luckily it's not noticeable, but definitely getting a little bit more hair in the comb than I'd like. Two minutes. I'm gonna do another real quick third pass. Real quick third pass. So I'm actually surprised that I have to go in for a third pass because last time I used the Astra Blue. On an aggressive razor, I got a closer shave. You'll notice definitely from the pressing down, there's some irritation already building and there's some, some Nicks. It's because even after I said I need to slow down, ease up the pressure, I didn't. Not as much as I should have. But I think it's because I'm trying to get this video. done in a timely manner. Alright. On the plus side, beard came out great.
All right. Let's splash on some aftershave. Aqua Velma Musk. Ooh, that stings. That stings. Oh, that's a smell. That's a smell that I remember. It smells like my grandfather. Yeah, he used to use aqua velva musk. I didn't remember until just now. It's wafting back to me. Wow, just... They say that smell is really great for the memory, and I'll tell you what, it certainly is, especially right now. Whew. I used to miss my granddad a lot. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. I hope the beginning with the trim didn't get too boring. I'll go back and watch it later. I'm probably still gonna post it as is, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. That being said, of course, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.